Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Git, Web and general improvements of Eclipse 2012. Improvements that have been added since the last release in September three months ago. The Eclipse IDE for Java developers and the Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java developers are shipped with an embedded Java 15. No need to have Java installed on your system for running Eclipse and for coding in Java 15 or lower anymore. In the Eclipse installer, you can choose an IDE package whether you want to run Eclipse with a separately installed Java or with a Java as part of Eclipse. All Eclipse 2012 IDE packages are now also available for Linux Arch 64, also known as ARM 64 platform, which means that you can run Eclipse on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 now faster natively. All those who've got a Mac with Apple Silicon, the brand new M1 processor, sorry, you will have to wait. ARM is currently natively supported on Linux only. But Mac users, watch out! Independent of the processor you have, Eclipse 2012 contains a couple of fixes for Big Sur, Mac OS 11. Java 15 is not only shipped as part of Eclipse, Java 15 support is also built in now. Text blocks after having been a preview feature in Java 13 and 14, have become final in Java 15, ready to be used in production. For less typing, or to turn a selection into a multi-line string, you can use the Add Text Block command, Ctrl Shift Apostrophe. A single backslash at the end of a line masks the line break. The preview features Pattern Matching for instance of and Records were already preview features in Java 14. Pattern Matching for instance of is still the same as in Java 14. And Records are at least syntactically the same as in Java 14. Please note, preview features have to be explicitly enabled before they can be used, for example by using the quick fix control 1 that Eclipse provides for that. Sealed classes are the only new of the three preview features of Java 15. Sealed classes can be used for API classes that are extended by other classes of the same module, or when not using the Java platform module system of the same package to forbid the client to extend them. A sealed class has the modifier sealed and must list its permitted subclasses. Each of the permitted subclasses must be either final, sealed or non-sealed. The Java editor guides you by showing errors and by providing quick fixes control one, for them. For example, when a permitted subclass has none of the three modifiers, you can use control one to add one. And in a Java search, you can search for permitted type declarations locations only. That's it for Java 15 and its support. Let's have a look at the improvements independent of the Java version used. The default behavior of the code completion has changed in two regards. First, completion overwrite mode is enabled by default. As before, pressing CTRL toggles the mode. Second, best guessed parameters, instead of the parameter names, are filled in by default. In both cases, the old behavior can be restored in the preferences, Java, Editor, Content Assist. But I guess there is no need for that and you will like the new default behavior, won't you? Speaking of new default behavior, in Java, Appearance, Sort Library Entries alphabetically in the Package Explorer is now enabled by default too. With that, you won't see the class path order in the Package Explorer anymore, 
which is something you hopefully only need in rare cases, if at all. But the alphabetical sorting makes it easier to find a library, especially if you have many dependencies, and this is something you probably need more often. There is a new nice little quick assist, Control 1, offered on interfaces and on abstract class declarations to launch the new Java class dialog, Create New Implementation. When launching a Java application to work around line length limitation in Windows, for Java 9 or higher, an ARC file can now be used. In your Java launch configuration, in the Arguments tab, tick the new Use ARC file when launching checkbox for that. For Java 8 or lower, in the Class Path tab, tick the old Use Temporary Jar to Specify Class Path checkbox instead. And the last but not least top Java tooling improvement are 27 new cleanup functions. 27, that's a lot! They were originally developed in the Autorefactor plugin in the last years and are now being migrated one by one into Eclipse. The cleanup functions can save you a lot of time. You can clean up your legacy code to increase readability and performance and to use new language features like and lambda and switch expressions. Or you can use them as safe actions to prevent your code from eroding. Let's go quickly through the list of these 27 new cleanup functions. There are 6 new code style functions, 4 to remove duplicate code, 12 to remove unnecessary code, 5 new functions to optimize your code. The 6 new code style functions are convert to switch expression, which by the way is also available as new quick fix, combine nested if statement in else block to else if, convert if else if else chain to switch, add elements in collections without loop, compare with unequals zero for bitwise expressions, but be careful with that since it may alter the behavior, pull up assignment. The four new functions in the new duplicate code tab are use ternary operator, use equals or XOR on booleans, which will be applied on passive boolean operands only, not to alter the behavior, remove redundant end of block with jump statement, redundant if condition. The 12 new functions to remove unnecessary code are use objects hash, use string join when possible, Use arrays fill when possible, evaluate without null check, double negation, remove redundant comparison statement, remove redundant super call in constructor, initialize collection at creation, initialize map at creation, remove overridden assignment, remove useless continue, use try with resource. And finally, the five new optimization functions are exit loop earlier, Replace string concatenation by string builder. Primitive serialization. Remove unnecessary string creation. Prefer Boolean literals. In addition to the Java specific improvements, there are a couple of nice general platform improvements as well. There is a new theme called System that uses the colors and look of your system and which is not enabled by default. To enable it, go to Preferences, General, Appearance, and choose System as theme. After applying it, you'll have to restart Eclipse to get the full effect. The System theme shows more obviously which editor and views are selected and which one has the focus. Nice, isn't it? The default light theme on Mac OS has also improved. It looks smoother and brighter now. A file will now always be opened with a default editor. When using Open With, the last chosen editor will not be remembered anymore. This is more like what most people expect, isn't it? To change the file association permanently, right-click and choose Open With, Others, select the editor and, at the bottom, tick Use it for all files with that specific extension. In case JavaScript files are opened by mistake with a plain text editor, you have to do this to associate JavaScript files with a generic text editor 
to get highlighting and the full JavaScript support. In contrast to the last chosen Open with Editor, the last used search page was not remembered by default, but is now remembered by default. The preference, whether to remember the last used search page, which was previously in the sub-dialog that was shown when clicking the Customize button in the Search dialog, has now been moved to the Preferences, General, Search. In the console view, the state, whether word wrap is enabled or not, is now also persisted. In Git, the refresh shortcut F5 can now be used in the history view and in the Git staging view to get the changes of a Git repository made outside of Eclipse. By the way, the secure store handling for SSH key passphrases has been improved and the SSH option proxy jump, which most people probably neither know nor use, is now supported, allowing an SSH tunnel to pivot through one SSH proxy to another. The language servers for JavaScript, TypeScript and other languages and frameworks have been updated. TypeScript 4.0 is now supported. And in JavaScript and TypeScript, you will now be informed when using a deprecated class or function. Please notice, in the generic text editor for JavaScript and other languages supported via a language server in the right-click menu, Format has been moved into the Source submenu. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release December 2020. If you've missed some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thanks for watching and happy coding!